as you've probably read by the title, I feel like people don't like fully understand the musical genius of Hans Zimmer. Um, because like, I feel like if this was like, you know, a different era where like composers and stuff were like still like a big thing, he would be like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like he like, okay, with his music, like the Oppenheimer shit, like Hans Zimmer's like compositions are like things that you listen to or like the only way it can be like put on something to accurately describe the music is if you are like about to actually do something that like changes the course of human history you know what i'm saying that's why like oppenheimer you know what i'm saying like interstellar like you like you actually have to like i feel like that's the shit i would play if i ever discovered faster than light travel you know what i'm saying like light speed nah it doesn't even cut it dude it's too slow you know what i'm saying still take like a thousand years to get anywhere this is like actually like applicable and changing um I feel like they could have they could have put like some Hans Zimmer shit on like, um, like if Francis Ngannou won against Tyson Fury after his like crazy backstory. Uh, I watched the fight actually. I know they say Francis got robbed, which is like a good argument, but also Tyson did have a lot of like, you know, he had like a lot of good jabs and stuff. So like point wise, it probably landed a bit more. Francis got some big hits. Um, either way, like if he had won that shit after the whole thing with like his past and then like the UFC, like that would have been a good time. Like if you're winning like a world championship and you're an underdog, like I think, all right, Messi winning uh, the World Cup, that could have been, yeah, yeah, that, that could have been there. Uh, I feel like people just like, that guy is something else, dude. Look up Destroyer of Worlds on Apple Music or Spotify. It's a it's a remix, but like his build up with the violins and then the like the the like tuba kind of things, like the trumpets and shit. Oh my god, dude! It's like I'm lifted. Um, I made a so I like I I like woke up pretty recently because I've been making music and stuff like dubstep, but like I feel like if I could find the balance between like Hans Zimmer and Excision. Uh, this next song that I make, it's it goes like this is not like the other shit. This is like straight like head banging like PR shit. Cause I feel like um, I feel like like for the DJ and the music shit, we're not pulling any of the the horse meat crowd because they're gym people, and like if it's not something you can listen to in the gym, then it's not gonna translate very well. So this next song is like. Hard. Like, I want it to be, like, death and destruction level, like, hard. Like, so hard that, like, all right, imagine there's, like, a... You're in the middle of a mosh pit, right? And the, the pit opens up, right? And there's a guy benching, right, with a, with a table underneath him, right? And there's, like, like, they're circling him. The mosh pit opened up, and for some reason, there's, like, a table. And, like, a... And then there's a bench rack on top of it. And this dude is, like... He, as the buildup is happening, he hits a PR, throws the fucking dumbbell through the table, destroys the table. There's like fire and explosions everywhere. And then the mosh pit happens. Like that's how hard I'm going for. I want it to be so fucking hard. Like it makes David Goggins look soft. You know what I'm saying? I want it to be so hard that like, you know, j like it's harder than like Johnny Sins, you know? after like an eight hour work day on like six Viagra pills, dude. It's I, like, I want this shit to be like, if the, if this if this is like being played at a real live festival or rave, there's like explosions and like fire. And like, you're actually like, you're scared. Like you're actually scared. Like you don't even know what's happening. It's just chaos around you. You're like, oh, like somebody help, somebody help me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just insanity. That's how hard I want this next song to be. And we're getting towards that. There's like, like, like all right, imagine, right you're playing dark souls and you haven't like rested at a bonfire in like a, a really long amount of time and you basically you're out of flasks right and you've made more progress than you've made in the last like six weeks but like you need a bonfire and you walk into a room 
and then you hear that boss music and you're just like no no god please no like like begging like no please please i've worked so like no you know and then that that's the vibe like like it's just like that that dark souls music like i'm like holy fuck like i'm scared right now like this is insane that's that's the level that this next song i want it to be but yeah uh i don't know if you guys watched the attack on titan ending um it's animated very well it's great uh Fuck me, there's no fucking dude. Oh! Oh! Let's fucking go, dude. But I want this song to be so hard that, like, when you listen to it, you just start, like, destroying things. You know, out of, like, like you can't even control your body. Like, you have, like, your most valuable item. And you're like, no, no, please, please. And you, like, can't even control your body. And then, like, a sledgehammer and a flamethrower appears, and there's, like, flames in your room, and you just start destroying shit, and you're like, no, like, how do I stop? How do I stop? You know, and you just get, like, destroying, like, all your shit because it's just that fucking hard. 